Kia ora te whanau, no mai piki mai kaki mai, welcome to Prince Edward Park here in Papakura, Tamaki Makoto for the ARL 2024 Fox Qualifying Series with our opening game today between the Papakura Sea Eagles and the Otara Scorpions. I'm alongside my cousin uh, Crystal Rota, <laughs> lovely to be alongside the Kiwi Fern herself, the legend that is uh, Kiwi uh, Crystal Rota, so wonderful to have you here today. So Crystal, your thoughts on the match today? Oh, it's going to be a good match today. I'm looking forward to seeing two Southside teams battle it out out here at Prince Edward Park. The weather conditions aren't the greatest right now, so hopefully the rain holds out, but excited to see what today brings. Yeah, Crystal Rota, uh, Papakura holds a lot of affection for you. You're back this year coaching the women's side as well, so what's it like being back at Papakura? Oh, it's great to be back, back at Papakura. Um, it's a humble little club, little club rooms, um, but it's just good to be back. We've got a, a good big squad here of women, and um, I'm just great, glad to be back and helping out, giving back to the game and, um, of rugby league. Yeah, no doubt the clubs are... Rap to have you back here at the club, uh, be, being the magnet you are for Women's Rugby League and the icon that you are. It's awesome for you to see such massive numbers at your trainings as well. So looking at the teams for today, here we go. James Dowie's in the back end, another another XR 2016 Premiership winner with the, with the uh, Papakura Seagulls back today. Also seeing uh, Wheeler Ayalupu, uh, one of the uh, classic Otara Scorpions himself. He's playing for Papakura today. And uh, Jody Henry, seeing him back in the standoff today. It's great to see one of the classic players back in there. And the coach uh, for Papakura is uh, Vasisio Fox Sikifana. last year after a bit of yeah, rebuilding yes. here back at the club. Um, how has the pre-season been going after a bit of fairly long pre-season and a couple of pre-season games? Well, just like any other pre-season, you know, it's, uh, yeah, it's probably all the tough work that happens there. And, uh, you know, we managed to have a couple of games, um, see where things are at. And, uh, and okay. look, we're here, here to really get a real test and, and see where the boys are at and where we are and... Uh, and take it from there. You've had a good season last year. You guys just missed out in that semi-finals against the Bulldogs. What's your guys' key focus areas for this season? Um, there's, there's a few things. Um, I sat down with uh, uh, Cap and, and the coaching staff and uh, had a few words with them and and um, see what we needed to work on. And last year, um, you know, it's, it's one of those things you can't differentiate the professional and, and club footy. And um, every week somebody's putting their hands, oh, I've got a wedding, or I've got something on. And we just weren't really, um, just never really got to, to get through our combination and whatnot. But um, this year has been a lot better. Uh, standards is, is pretty, pretty high and, and, and the boys are committed and hopefully it'll show you show the games. Yeah. Well, all the best to you and Papakura today. There was the Papakura coach, Vasesio Setefano there. Very interesting character. Got the pleasure of coaching him a few years ago at Manurua before he moved over to Papakura. So great to see him still in the game and giving back, Crystal. Yeah, so good to see him here at Papakura. Our all lineup line-up on the board now, and looking at, in particular, a couple of great players in the halves and uh, speaking with their coaches earlier, Chris uh, Tovia and Miracle Williams are definitely players to watch. And uh, also, too, in their, in their, in their back line there, George uh, Ngatupu, uh, Ngatapu. He's uh, definitely a player to watch, speaking with their coach, uh, David Faalungo, earlier, who we'll speak to now, and we'll just hear from him uh, with his interview uh, with Kia ora, Dave. New colours for you this season. New coach at Otara. What have you tried to implement into this Otara squad for the 2024 season? Yeah, no, it's, it's been, been good to come back home. Um, you know, I started my league career um, at, at Otara, so um, it's good to be back. Um, basically trying to instill belief. Belief. We've always had um, strong uh, talent. At Otara, so um, you know, there's there's no doubt that players coming through at the moment uh, have the gift, but just needed to be, uh, I guess, guided and developed uh, into um, a better version of, of themselves. And obviously, talking about instilling belief, you have a big key name in your squad, Amani Vativai. What does he bring to your squad, both on and off the field? Oh, we all know what Manu brings. Um, uh, he'll bring a lot of confidence to players, um, and also, you know. Manu's, Manu's had a great career, um, and this is his way of giving back to Otara as well. So um, it's good to see him back, and, and it's good to see him uh, uh, out here today. Well, thank you, Dave. All the best to you and your team today. Thank you. 
And a real boost for the Otara Rugby League. Scorpion said to have such a legend and uh, David Fa'alongo coaching him, uh, Crystal, and you spoke to him earlier. And, uh, what was the feeling you got speaking with Dave? Oh, he's, he's obviously a legend player, and I know that he'll be an amazing coach also. But he just spoke about instilling the belief and, you know, in the team. And I asked him about, obviously, Manu Vatuvai being a part of their side and what he brings both on and off the field. And he spoke of him obviously bringing confidence. And I know when you have such an experienced player amongst a, a club side, how much confidence that brings to the players around you. You know how you you look up to them. You want to you know you want to do the best for them and by your team. So awesome to see Manu um, back at Otara. Yeah, I agree 100 percent to see somebody that's uh, got his profile and obviously uh, you know he's made uh, mistakes in his life as we all have, Crystal. And it's just so great that he's not hiding away from the limelight. He's out there and he's giving back to his community where he started his rugby league as well. So absolutely wonderful. Yeah. Also, too, just uh, taking this opportunity just to. Uh, you know, and, and acknowledge uh, Otara for bringing him back into the fold. There was some uh, talk about saying that he would be a bad influence, but the boys said, no way. You know, he's, 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 he's putting his hand up saying, I made a mistake, and he wants to give back, so I just think that's wonderful. Oh, you've got to acknowledge that, and, you know, everyone makes mistakes in their lifetime, and I think it's great he wants to give back to the community, and it just shows, you know, for all the young um, young youth out there too that, that may go down the, the wrong path at some point in time in life, that you can bring yourself back and you can do good things in your community, and that's exactly what Manu is doing. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, so just before kickoff here, Crystal, you know, you're coaching back at Papa Kura now, your old club. So who are you tipping for today's match? Well, based on um, obviously last year, so Otara were in the Shaman Cup and um, yeah. with Papa Kura being in the Fox Memorial and retaining a lot of their players. And obviously I'm at Papa Kura, so I'll be yeah. tipping Papa Kura today. Yeah, awesome. Awesome, Crystal. And uh, myself there, being, a, being a born and bred in Otara, going to uh, Yadara Pro Ferguson and Hillary College, I'm going to have to tip my old, uh, my and was my first club as a junior as well. So I'm going to have to tip the Otara boys because I'm always back in the underdogs, <laughs> as you know. And, you uh, and I know they're up against it today, so let's, uh, you know. Let's have a good game today. We're looking forward to this one. Exciting stuff ahead. Uh, Papakura Seagulls hosting today here at Prince Edward Park. The last one, the Fox, in uh, 2016. Their only win under, under coach Richie Blackmore. Uh, returned to the Fox in 2023 after rebuilding. And uh, the 2023 season last year, there was really close. 8-6 uh, eight, eight, in the semi-final against Richmond Bulldogs. So very, very close to making the grand final last year. And... Uh, um, also, uh, uh, Lewis uh, Sosamia uh, was the Fox Memorial winger of the year, so they've definitely got some quality in the side. No, I can't, can't play the game without sponsors there, Crystal, and uh, you know, you as a coach would, would, would know that. Yeah, Papakota sponsors, they've got Harvey's, Hugh Munro Panel Beaters, Transbuild, P&I Pasco, TRC Collision Repair, Enviro Health Consult Consulting, Scott Electrical Takanini, and Outer Space Storage. Always got to give props to the sponsors. I know now as a coach how important sponsors are, so big props to the Papakura sponsors. Absolutely. Otara with possession here with a nice runner right up the middle there. Nice solid tackle from the Papakura Seagulls. Otara with the first carry here. Nice solid carry once again by Otara. Nice simple place here. One off the ruck here. Getting good yardage coming up the field here. Yeah, nice run by the... Uh, the number eight there for Otara there, Sol uh, Tohina. Chris Torvia, the left-hand uh, half for Otara there, number six. Just working down that left edge and Otara dragging a penalty there. The last thing that Papakura needed, Crystal. Yeah, it's not, not a good start for Papakura. They had good line speed in that set of defence there, so not a good end to that set for them on defence, you know, just let them back into this uh, attacking, you know, the 50 now, yep. so... We're going to have to use, get, get used to that one, Cuz, because that's called Coach Killers. <laughs> 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 yeah, but, uh, yeah, just a uh, great, great field position here. Manu's got no good do the tap in. Manu Vatuvai, oh, there he goes for a run as well. Oh, the big man's getting close too. Papa could have three in the tackle there. Still got that strength, obviously, the big man. And uh, quick play the ball, nice and tidy. Miracle Williams, the other half for Otara there, number seven. Papa could have now on their try line, dean up hard. Nice little short ball there, number 11 for Otara there. Fort Anthony there, pushing forward. 
Ooh. Yeah, PD24 there looking for that sneaky one from dummy half. Crystal knows all about those ones, eh, cuz? <laughs> Having a little dart out of dummy. Nice little kick there from uh, George Ngatupu. Yes, and Otara get the opening try. Referee blows it up. There it is, the opening try for the match there. Excellent work from the Otara Scorpions. Beautiful kick from that fullback, George Ngatupu. Ngatapu, beautiful lines on that kick. Just curving around beautifully into that in goal area there. Coming around from right to left. Lovely little curve on the ball. And then going through number two, Joshua Perez. Yeah, you can see the excitement on his face. Bit of a jump there. That obviously started from that penalty tap that Manu, uh, yeah. Manu initiated with that yes. powerful run. And that would have given his teammates a bit of a rev up to, to sort of follow suit with that powerful run. Yeah, and uh, speaking with the coaches before the match as well, speaking with Salah and David Falungo in the outside of the camp, they picked Josh as one of their standout players because he has such great energy at training and, he, and he's a real motivator. He inspires the other boys. So great to see him getting the opening try there, Crystal. Um, well deserved there. You yeah. see the energy when he scored that try. The celebration yeah. there, you can see that he's that type of player that brings the energy and every team needs one of those players amongst them. Yeah, Otara Scorpions last one, the Fox. Uh, Fox Memorial in uh, 1996, their only win. And uh, obviously, um, you know, a, a great, a great uh, uh, occasion for the club to win their first victory. I was actually there. Went to extra time. Was Ruben no. there at that time? No, but no. Andrew, Andrew Gray, Andrew Gray scored the try to go to double, uh, to go to extra time. Oh, it was against Odahu as well. It was a massive game, and then um, and then Andrew Gray scored the winning try in extra time as well. So Andrew Gray was the hero for Otaro in that in that uh, 1996 Fox Memorial victory. Look at the conversion now. Oh, that's away to the just away to the left there. So the score is four nil. So Crystal opening try to Otara. What do you think the uh, coach of Papa could be thinking at the moment? Yeah, just be a bit disappointed, I guess, in that penalty that sort of that ignited, you know, that for for the Otara Scorpions. Yeah. Um, you know, nothing nothing too much in it, but it was the you know the opening set and a penalty. Um, yeah. That ought to be something that a coach would not be happy with. And uh, Jody Henry to really restart there with kicking off for Papakura. Uh, you know, he's been around rugby league a long time, and obviously, uh, you know, um, Papakura needed a, a half, and he put his hand up to get out there today, Crystal. Yeah, Jody's got a wealth of experience, county's representative as well. He's, he's played a lot of footy in his time, so he yep. brings uh, a lot of experience to this Papakura side. Yeah. And of course, um, last year, Otara was very unlucky in the qualifying series, only to miss out on the Fox by percentage. But then they went on to dominate the Shaman. So obviously looking to try and get into the Fox this year. So a lot at stake for both teams today. Yeah, definitely only a short um, qualifying round with three games. So, you know, that every game counts and is important, especially percentage as well, like you said. Yeah. Yeah, Josh Torvia there just uh, looking to settle it up then. It's, uh, oh, what's the what's referee calling here? Uh, knock on, I think. Yeah. Just Torvia there. Just losing the ball on contact. Center field scrum for Papakura. And no doubt uh, this will be one of the moves they've practiced at training. So we'll be looking for a set from here, you'd imagine, there, Crystal? Yeah, definitely. Good attacking position to be in. At the 50, having a scrum. See what uh, Papakura can run off the back of this. Just a shout out to the Otara Scorpion sponsors as well. They've got advanced traffic management, uh, Mike Pero. SC Tatupi Funeral Services, The Four Kings, Fatu Brother Installations, Back to Back Hardware, uh, Vakalahi Construction, Traffic Solution Limited, and Waterview Laundromat. And yeah, they're doing really well. They've got their own laundromat at the club now too, Crystal, I noticed. Yeah. So apparently that's, that's going really well. Got the community supporting them. So, oh, great idea too. Awesome idea. As Papakura storms up towards the 10 metre mark, or 20 metre mark. It's James Dowie on the... the Coming into the back line there now, just over the 20 meter mark now. James Dowie was uh, one of the one of the two players that was uh, part of that 216 Grand Final with uh, with Papakura. Great to see him back out there. He's a class act, as young uh, James Dowie, ex Mangere East Hawk. Cruz Tupo there, another Manyareo Marlin, and is uh, the son of the great Sungi Tupo. Yeah, easy try there to Papakura. Well worked, easily worked on that right edge. There's Isaac uh, Sosomia. 
Talk us through this replay, please, Crystal. Yeah, beautiful pass there from dummy half. Jody Henry just taking it into the line. Nice backdoor play and beautiful ball out there to Soor Somia. James Dowie there too Semia. coming in on, on, that, on that second back door there, Crystal Lace. The old double jack, and, uh, you know, we see it all every every game in the NRL. It's, it's a set piece that every team uses, the, what we call the uh, hit, truck and trailer or heads and tails. And, uh, yeah, well well executed by Papakura there, goes oh, in that right corner. Beautiful. It's the experience of Jody Henry as well, really taking the ball, engaging the defence, taking it into the line. Beautiful pass out the back. Yeah, just what they wanted after letting in that first try to Ōtara was to answer and give them a reply nice and quickly. And uh, no doubt uh, Ōtara will be having a few words behind the goal line right now and uh, saying how they can try and uh, defend that better, marking up on their men. But uh, credit where credit's due, that was a lovely, uh, ex well-executed play by Papakura. It's Isaac on debut as well, so always lovely to get a meat pie on debut. Absolutely. James Dowie now to attempt the conversion. Ooh, just to the right there. So it's a four apiece there. Exciting stuff there. Crystal got a, it's a game on. Yeah, game on. Still early, very early in the game. Try a piece. Yeah. See the godfather on the sideline there, Willie Meyer. He's the, he's the main man at Otara. He's done, uh, he's done wonders with their club over the last few years, Crystal. You know, and he's been instrumental in, in their progress going forward. Yeah, you've got to have... Got to, every club's got to have someone like that. Yeah. So important for how the club runs, the continuation of, of everything that happens in a club. Yeah. Yeah, they're, 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 the, they're the backbone of our clubs, uh, the volunteers, eh, eh, Crystal? Oh, definitely. You know, and every club has those people that, uh, that are there year in, year out, and they don't get paid anything. Yep, doing all the work that no one usually sees. Yeah. Nice kick by uh, Otara there, going right down into the in-goal area. So uh, Papakura to bring it out of the in-goal area, in area, up to the 10-metre line. Some strong carries from those forward backs. Nice and direct there. Good leg drive there too, Crystal. Yeah, beautiful, powerful runs. Yeah, Aquila Tuha there does some footwork, nice footwork out on the left edge. Wheeler Lupo there with a nice run into the middle of the field there. You now ex Scorpion himself, so no doubt there'll be a bit of passion involved with the, with those all title boys trying to tackle him. It's a fifth and final there, lovely kick from Jody Henry into the into the right hand corner. Yeah. And it's well fielded by uh, Ngātapu. Uh, Ngā it's a good set there. Got nice Otara uh, right where they want them in the corner. Yeah, yeah Vatu Vai to start the set off there with a nice strong carry. Yeah, lovely scoot out of dummy half. Number seven, there's Miracle Williams set. And Ngātapu taking another settle there up towards the 25 metre mark. A weaving run there from Yeti Fata uh, Lenga. Yeah, and drags the penalty. There it is, the old coach killer again there, Crystal. Yes. Don't want another penalty. This is exactly a bit of a deja vu. Yeah, almost the same spot too. Yeah, almost the same spot. Yeah, so Altada will be hoping for the same result too, just quietly. Let's see if Manu will take this tap. Looks like he is. <laughs> yeah. Also, too, Crystal, both sides realise how important these matches are. The qualifying series is really quick. So, yeah, uh, you've got to win and you've got to get, get in there early, you know. Yeah, you've got three games to earn your spot. 16 teams and only 12 spots. So, every game counts and every point counts. Yeah, strong one by Sol Tohina there. Very hard man to bring down. Yeah, another good run there from number 12 for the uh, Scorpion, Philip Solomona. Oh, 
Oh, nice ball. Ooh, in the fend. Yeah, strong run there from uh, Ite, uh, Fitelega. Ooh, some nice footwork there from Miracle Williams. But that's fifth and final for Otara now. The crossfield kick. Money's going up there. Pack it back. Oh! oh! That was on. That was so on. That was a really good set from Otara. Yeah, that was uh, unlucky there. That would have been the second try for Joshua Perez there. I think he got excited looking at the try line there. Yeah. And just, uh, yeah, nice kick from Chris Tovia. A good looking kick. Manu's leaps up in the air to pat it back. Oh, oh was right there for the taking. It down, yes, was right there for it. the taking. Unlucky. Oh. That was a good set though. The tip ons, the, the timing of those tip ons. Yeah. Beautiful work from Otara. Yeah, did everything right there and just unfortunately unable to finish it off. So yeah, Papakura dodging a bullet there. Cruz Tupo to take the restart. Another strong carry from Papakura. Ooh, just that, oh, lucky there, that, that, that tackle just creeping up a little bit high. Jeff Tatupu there pushing up forward. Little darting run from Cruz Tupo. Another 10 metres. Donny Tuivai Lopa there and Dummy Harp. Nice carry. It's uh, Stedman Lafoe. And Perez with the ball now, bringing it out of his uh, left wing. Stedman, another ex Margaret East Hawk, but uh, quality player. Good to see him back in the in the Fox Memorial, jamming again. Another good run for Manu Vatuvai there, Crystal. Yeah, he's a powerful runner. There's a pretty good set from Papakura too. Yeah, good yardage. Staying nice and tight around the ruck in their plays. They must be targeting around the middle there. Yeah. There's another good run there from Manaya Lawaki there. The right winger coming in to do some work. Otara up over halfway now. Nice kick into space from the dummy half there. James Dowie picks that up. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, and he loses the ball there. Knock on Lewis there. Carey, great tackle. Miracle Williams there just dislodging the ball there, Crystal. Yeah, beautiful tackle. Good, good to identify the space. Didn't know, didn't know he had someone coming from behind. Great tackle. Yeah, but James that Dowie, too, that was a good run from, good carry from James Dowie there. He eluded uh, the four Scorpion defenders there and made 30 metres on that carry. But Miracle were... Uh, there's a little slap from the ball from behind there. Dislodges the ball and Otara now in perfect uh, attacking position, Crystal. Yeah, beautiful. Good ball here. Nice and close. See what they can run off the back of the scrum. Torvia to feed the scrum there. Going down that left edge. The big man on the unders there. Oh, and he goes straight through the front door. Manu Vatuva, he's back. Uh, that's what fantastic. A and, uh, just speaking with um, Dave Faalunga before the match, there they just said that he's such inspiration, his encouragement to the younger players there, and then out there leading by example, and just let us talk us through that. The replay little bit of a corners there with money running the back door, no one home, no one's even there to to stop the big man. Dives in for a beautiful try for his his junior club. Yeah, you've got to be happy for him, though, Crystal. You know, even though you're not with Papa Kuna, no, you just got to, it's great to see him come back, giving back to our sport and then uh, reaping the rewards like that. Oh, definitely. Yeah, absolutely. When you're giving back to your game, giving back to your community, you're inspiring the, the rangatai and the, the youth around you, then you come in and play for your for your local club. This the, this is the result, you know. You have, yeah. you have no doubt a lot of these um, spectators around here have come down to watch Manu, so... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, wonderful to see him giving back and wonderful to see him still doing well and, uh, and leading by example. Take this opportunity to quickly uh, mention the Otara sponsors. Oh, I, I have actually. 
yeah, just quietly. So, well done. Otara, no doubt we all need those sponsors on board. As our Otara kicker lines up. There they are there. Oh, look at that. So what happens when you work with sharp people at the streamshot.live, like Eddie, the producer, doing a great job there. Look at those graphics. And there's our Altara Scorpion sponsors right there. How sharp are they, Crystal? <laughs> Wonderful working with these uh, slick professionals, isn't it? Oh, it is, definitely. Absolutely. Seamless live streams. <laughs> yep. Okay. Keep your head down. Stroke it. Up they go there. So all tied out to a 10 4 lead there, Crystal. Yes. It's definitely game on. It's been some pretty heavy impact in the game so yeah, far. Yeah. Well, they're both very physical forward packs, aren't they? You know, you can see that they, uh, they're, not, they're not shy going forward. They've got a few of the boys who are pretty keen to run it straight, bro. Oh, there is. There's been a lot of running it straight. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was saying earlier. It's been very tight around the ruck in the middle of the park. Yeah. Ford's going at it. See, Otara again, bringing it up. Good carry. It's number 11 from Otara pushing up there. Forte, uh, Forte Anthony. Keeping it simple, Otara there. Nothing really fancy there. Again, similar to Papakura there. I guess uh, they're just doing a lot of one off the ruck. Just yeah, that go for very it. tight around the ruck. Yeah. Through the middle of the park. Yeah, just wait for a two out run there. Just pushing up there. Sol Tohina up over halfway. Nice little darting run out of dummy half there with uh, PT to a foot. Nice kick. And the spiral. Yeah. And that, uh, that was clearly taken easily there by Aquila Tuha. Nice hands under the high ball there. Oh, referee saying lost ball, saying loose carry, Crystal. Oh, loose carry. Ooh, might have to have a look at a replay on that. So I, I, I thought it was ripped out, but... Um, see here. Oh, yeah, couldn't really see it, no. No, well, referee's, referee's actually got a better angle than us on that one. And he's asked his touch judge there, touch judge confirmed. So once again, all Otaro and uh, good ball, Crystal. Yes. It's another deja vu. Same well, spot. Yeah. But will they be looking to go to Manu again on their left edge? Yeah, well, that, that corner's worked really well, didn't it, on that last play? Yep, there they go. Yeah, Yeti Fitalanga. Up to the 10 meter mark. Yeah, big Manu there coming up, just about a meter short. Oh! Oh, that's the team, my bad. Here we go. Another strong carry there by Solomona. Nice play. Oh, opportunities here for Otara. Oh. And he goes close, but it's held up. Held up. Oh, excellent camera angle too. It's held up there. Oh, still Otara ball. Yeah, so Loaki there went across the line but was unable to ground it. Torvia going across. Tohina with the offload. Ah, Tapu looking for the offload again and there's a little kick in behind. Oh, and that goes dead. Oh. So Papakura, yeah, dodge a bullet there. Let yeah, off the hook. Sure did. James Dow with the quick tap. Quick 10 meters. Yeah, and he'll be holding on to that ball with two hands. <laughs> Another strong run. Excellent work. Just I feel he's been big for Papakura. His carry's been outstanding. Yeah. Too hard again. Another good carry back to the middle. Yeah, Ayapulu, yeah. 
Good yardage again, getting up towards halfway. Oh, and a one-on-one -on -one strip there. Oh. Double knock on, referee calling double knock on. I think Otara might be lucky on that one there, Crystal. Yeah, it might be. Still, yeah. Good oh, contact. Yeah, yeah. Papa could have played it safe out there today. Very, very simple game plan. Just one yep. off the rucks or running in pairs, staying really tight to the ruck and quite straight up the guts. Must be very tiring. Yeah. Running into heavy forward pack of Otara as well, um, time and time again. Yeah, well, that's it. Uh, and that's that's the, the quality that's required at the Fox Memorial as well, and both sides know that. And obviously, Papakura, you know, coming within two points of making the final last year, so they know what's required. So, yeah. The big hits, and there's some more big hits there. It's a good run by the Iltara winger there, Loaki. Getting up towards halfway, Iltara now on two carries. Good yardage. J.D. Henry's feeling a bit under the weather. These look like he's copped the hit in the side of the head there. Yeah, referee stops play now. I'm just going to check that head injury out there. Yeah, massive blow for Papakura if um, they lose Jody Henry. He's out there directing the, the plays. Yeah, he's uh, got a lot of experience and he's uh, certainly adds that calming influence out there. He's just looking at the replay. And, oh, yeah, sort of. I think he copped it in that earlier tackle, but uh, the trainers are out there now. Just the uh, medical staff are just assessing him. He's back on his feet. Good to see Sam Rag out there, trainer for Otara. He was our Kiwi Ferns trainer for a very long time. Good lad. Yeah, so Otara got some pretty quality staff. They do, they, definitely Crystal? have some quality staff, and it's showing through their performance as well. Yeah. And, uh, sort of, um, you know, when you speak with Dave and you heard in the interview when you interviewed him earlier, you can tell he's a very humble man as well, you know, and... Uh, you know, it's just so wonderful that, you know, his boys are like that as well. They're very humble boys, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. And they know that, that it's in front of them. So, yeah. Awesome to see them out there trying to qualify again this year. So, Otara here now in good position once again here. Looking at good ball. Oh, nice little Ajax there. Nice little simple play. Dummy inside runner and then hit the back door. Oh, yes, referee. Yeah, referee would penalise that there. Interference in the play of the ball there, Crystal. Yeah, rep repetition of uh, penalties here for Papakura is absolutely killing them. Yeah, that'll obviously be one of um, Vesicio's uh, comments at half time. No oh, doubt. He's no doubt. He'll be sending his trainers out there right now, wouldn't he? Talking yeah. to them about their discipline. Yeah, definitely. You know, it's just so tiring defending back to back over silly penalties. Yeah, and uh, you sort of imagine here they've been working this right edge, and there's a, a very good chance they're going to set up and go to the left edge and find money again. You'd, 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 you'd think. Yeah, you'd think so. Strong, dominant tackle there. Yeah, Josh tafili has been strong for them today on the carries and on the fence. Here we go back out to that left edge, and there it is. They'll be looking for... Oh, and they've gone out to Perez. Yeah, they, they was, that was a smart play, Crystal. Everybody yeah. was targeting, looking at uh, looking big at money. Manu. Yeah. yeah. Then it was the cutout ball, and that was a smart ball from uh, Ngatapu. And now if I was a centre marking up on money, I'll be keeping my eye on, him, eye on him as well. Yeah. The winger come in to try and shut down Manu, just created that space on the edge for Perez. Yeah, and Joshua Perez, they're going across for his double, yep. Yeah, the cutout ball, yes. And, uh, yeah, yeah, young Isaac uh, saw some air there. Got drawn into the to the magnet. That is uh, Manu Vatavai there. And uh, leaving uh, Josh uh, Perez to go over untouched and unopposed in that uh, left wing there. Otara out to a 14-4 lead, Crystal. Yeah. Great. Great um, team cohesion there by, uh, by the Otara side. Definitely working uh, magic down that left edge. 
Yeah, and also too, like you know, getting those opportunities, but then executing your plays and finishing those plays. You know, that's you know, got to be credit where credit's due. That's awesome work from the uh, Ultara Scorpions. Yeah, but like you said, they're working down this this right edge. You know, yeah. drawing the defenders to come in a bit tighter, coming out across, and you know, leaving that space on and out, out on the outside. Yes. Obviously, the winger having to come in and try and shut on Manu and creating that space on the on yep. the wing there. Yeah, smart football, Ultara. Well done. Doing the basics are uh, the uh, the better of the two teams at the moment, Crystal. Oh, they are. You know, obviously, uh, Papa could has got that, got that potential with them, but they've got to start getting the consistency. You've got to be consistent with those sets. You've got to eliminate the, the penalties because, you know, yeah, it's just causing them, them have to defend back to back. And it's it's so tiring. You use so much energy defending, come attack, you know, you're just so fatigued and hard to make decisions. Yeah. Tara now. Ooh. Now. Classic. A little bit of wind there, just knocking it off the tee. But it's just so important, the kicking in Crystal, you know, and you know, we see so many games week in, week out, and the NRL decided by two or four points. So, yeah, the conversions are so important. Oh, and like you said earlier, if you're missing out, you know, on qualifying because of percentage, oh, yeah. these are what, what matter so, so much. Absolutely. Yes, yeah, so Ōtara, their one and only Fox win in 1996. And that was one of the last Fox, Fox finals played at um, Carlo Park, Crystal. Oh, so wow. So that was massive, yeah. And, uh, oh, man. And back then at Carlo Park, they used to always um, announce the play of the day about two minutes before the end of the match, and they'd always be choosing it from the winning side. And I remember that game against Otahu when Otara won. About two minutes ago, Otara was Otahu was still leading, and they awarded um, play of the day to Mike Farmwina. And everyone's going, yay, from Otahu. And then next minute, Andrew Gray scores, and it goes to extra time. So, yeah, it's just an epic, epic final for Otara Scorpions that day. And no doubt they'll be trying to recreate that this year and uh, get themselves an opportunity to get to the Fox. Ooh, Tohina there looks like he's holding on to his head. Tohina's been good for Tata this so far. Crystal, the left left prop. He has number eight. He's, he's strong had a carries. Strong first half, yeah. Yeah. He made good yardage when he's carried the ball on that edge and well and you got him and Manu giving your settles here. <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah. I like the craftsmanship of the the dummy half too the way yes. he's jumping out the way he's getting his, his um, yeah. runners onto the ball yeah, Chris Tovia he's doing a great job on that left edge our sponsors for Papakura they're getting another mention there and uh, as we all know we, we can't operate without the, without their support and it's, uh, it's much appreciated I think Papakura really need this right now certainly do and uh, 11 minutes, 11 minutes left on the clock in the first half. And no doubt uh, Papa could have been looking to get on the board. I'll get another one on the board just before half time. You know, it's a, always that crucial time to, to try and score before half time, Crystal. Oh, definitely. You know, bring yourself back into the game. Bring that, that score margin a little bit closer. It's also got a big psychological effect too, Crystal. Oh, it definitely does. You know, if you're, if you're going into the changing sheds 10 down, you know, you get a couple, get another six points on the board and go on with less points on the board. It just makes it easier. Coming into that second half, you've got a bit more motivation and determination. Yeah, yeah uh, Pulu there. Nice run up to the 20-meter line. Then Papakura in a great position now. Ooh, not just, just not finding the mark there. Jody Henry there, that pass just going behind him. Yeah, nicely picked up there by Henry Pate. Oh, it's a nice run. Number three there, saw Osomia. Yeah, uh, Fox Memorial Team of the Year last year too. We're seeing why. Just a simple run from there too. Easy try. Just what they needed, Crystal. Oh, good identification there. Just having a little scoot out of dummy half. Getting down nice and low and getting in for for a try for Papakora. Just what we were talking about, they absolutely needed that. Yeah. And, you know, they got those extra points on the board now. 
And like you said, that psychological factor. Absolutely. Huge into, boost, eh? Boost yes. for the morale for the boys. You know, and uh, if they can get this conversion, even better for Papakura here. That margin being reduced. 14-8 now with the kick to come from James Dowie. And just what they wanted uh, just before half time as well. They didn't want to lose touch with Otara there and uh, let, allow Otara back in. And uh, that try there was just uh, give, giving the team a big uh, motivational lift, a bit of inspiration. Ready to go, Josh. Some happy yeah, boys on the sideline there, Crystal. Throwing out some mana waves. Oh, it's a lovely family day down here. Great job by the club putting on a bit of a community day. Oh, got to give big props to the club that for our spectators that can't see. We've got bouncy castles here. We had a little farm with the llamas and horses and a lot of food trucks. So, yeah, big props to the Papakura Club for an awesome day for the whanos. Oh, yes, and James Dowie gets the kick there. So the, the, the margin is reduced now. 14-10. Game on, Crystal. It They're is gone. game Four on. Four-point margin. Four-point margin. Still a bit of time on the clock, too, before half time. Yes. So, if you're the coach here, would you be sending out the information or, or the call to your kicker to go deep, or would you go for the short and try and get it back? Oh, oh I, I don't know, to be honest. I my, Myself, personally, I'd be... How, how long have we got on the clock? Yeah. If we've, got, if we've got minimal time, I'll be saying go short and contested. I'll be kicking it down Manu's side, telling him to get up high and get under it. Yeah. But they're going deep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good chase from Mortad as well. So they got so, so that tactic worked for them. It's a deep kick, and they've got their first tackle on yep. the 10. We've still got 7 minutes 42 on the clock. That's still plenty of time. Heaps of time. No, they get a couple of, at least a couple of sets each there, Crystal. So it's still plenty of football in the first half. Stedman Lafoe again. He's been strong for them today. Crystal number eight for uh, Papakura. Oh, he has. Strong yeah. carries. Good support too. Good support runs. Yeah, another experienced player. Yeah, so he adds a lot to the forward pack there with his experience. Nice off load. Ooh. Ooh. Good defense from Mozart there. And, and, and like... I love the fact that Papakura was trying to attack there. It was nice to see the width there, using the ball, getting it out to their winger. But just unfortunately for them there, the winger was just uh, ankle tapped and put into touch and lost control. Yeah, sometimes you've got to take a little bit of a risk. Um, Papakura have been playing it safe. Try to have a little dab down this edge. But, yeah. but it was an uh, excellent tackle from Fete Lainga there. It's just excellent work. And just forced the winger into touch there. Uh, Aquila Tuha. So Otara on halfway. Start this hit. And again, Tohina been strong, putting his hand up for Otara for those early carries and good yardage. Yeah, now Tanaki there. Another another solid 10 meter carry. Yeah, Forte Anthony there, getting up towards a th up towards a 30 metre line. Yeah, a bit of a loose pass there. Oh, it's stolen the ball. Oh, Crystal could see him saying, "Let go, let go," because we wanted to strip it, but. Yeah, two on the tackle. He's telling Jody to let go, let go. Jody lets go. He strips the ball, but yeah, yeah. I saw some, uh, saw some mirror there. Unlucky. And now Otara again with uh, five minutes left on the clock. Tap on the ten. Papa got going to have to work hard here. Some strong goal line defense to keep Otara out. And here they are now, now just inside the tent. So Papakura on try line defence, now it's on. Oh, might have been uh, trying to appeal for a crusher tackle penalty there, I think, Crystal. Yeah, looked like it. Oh, oh, we know that move, Crystal. That was a bit of a familiar one, the old <laughs> KC. The corners with the, with the, un, uh, the drop inside. 
Oh, and there it oh, is. There it is. That was short ball with the 13 coming in there. So, uh, Simol, Simol there, beautiful work. Lovely short ball off the half. It's good eyes up here from the dummy half. Yeah, two and four. Just a beautiful little short ball there. Just a nice unders line from the loose forward there, uh, Crystal Simot. Yeah, he just comes out. Just holds up that first defender just nicely before he pops the ball off. Yeah, lovely delay. Those are the subtleties of, of nine. And you know all about that, Crystal. Yeah, it's, it's all about timing. Um, you know, getting, getting, your, getting your forwards running onto the ball at the, at the right times, but also you having the ball in hand at the right time before releasing it. Just enough to engage that marker before you release the ball. Yep. Yeah, a couple of heated words there between the boys. Our referee's just having to just to remind them that we're here to play football today, gentlemen. Yeah. Let's not let's not uh, yeah get into that kind of stuff. Oh, he's gonna have a word, is he? Too many kids and family members around to be getting into that kind of nonsense. Just oh yeah. Gotta get on with the game. It's good the refs addressing it. Yeah. Just having a chat. James Dowie for the uh, Cup of Gooder Seagulls, their captain. Yeah, yeah. Okay, bit of an in-depth conversation going on there, Crystal. Some big explanations from the outside of number three there. Yeah, must be explaining where the frustration's coming yeah. from from there. Yeah. Bitte Langa there, and uh, Big Mun is coming for a chat as well. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Must be something off the ball, because we didn't see anything, did we? We didn't see anything. I don't even know Manu had anything to do with it. That's a big loss for Otara. Big blow, yeah, big blow. It's ten minutes in the bin there. Yeah, a few disappointed spectators who would have come out to watch Manu as well. On the flip side, got opportunity for the right edge of Papakura. Sir, it certainly is now, so they're going to have to adjust now as the Otara, especially on defence. They'll uh, probably play light in the middle now and try and uh, get those numbers manning up on the, uh, matched up on the edges now. So Otara, yeah, obviously uh, penalised for that infringement there, Manu Vatuvai, but uh, yeah, unfortunately we can't educate you on what happened there, uh, Fano, uh, all our viewers, uh, apologies. Uh, something that obviously happened off camera that we didn't see, and, uh, but obviously it, uh, it's been uh, addressed. And unfortunately for Manu, he's, uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's in the bin now for 10 minutes. So it's a big blow for the Otara side to carry on without him. Raises the flags there, straight over the black dot. So Otara up to an 18-10 lead there. Oh, 20-10. 20-10, there it is, conversion successful. 10-point lead, Crystal. So Otara there with that little uh, boost uh, that, uh, that boost for the morale just before half time. Only 40 seconds left. Yeah, it's a bit of, bit of a blow there for, um, oh, the firstly, the try for Papakura. Yeah. And then now having Manu missing. It's going to be a big loss, and that'll head into the second half. So 30 seconds to go here. Papa could have got to try and hold Otara out to keep themselves in this game. Yeah, last thing they want to do is let uh, Otara come back in the second half and score with 12 men as well. They've got to be very, very um, focused and coming back into that second half and looking to score first as well. Yes, definitely. All Tata here with the, probably the last carry of the first half. The dominant tackle there. <laughs> okay, so we've still got a, a little bit of time left on the clock there. We've got to look to get our clocks in sync with the match manager. 
Probably there's some stoppages earlier that we didn't record on TV. And then Papakuna there getting the penalty. See a bit of frustration coming into the game now. Yeah, that's the last thing Wotara needs though. They don't need another man in the bin. No, definitely not. So Jody Henry, Henry kicks it down there. Top could advance up another 10 meters. Yeah, Tatupu there with the first carry. Yeah, so Papakura now coming down that right edge. Scoot out a dummy half. So Samir again looking for a second try. Before he offloaded the ball there. Yeah. So drop ball there from Papakura. And, so, and to the delight of the Otara supporters. <laughs> Got a big support base here from uh, Otara. Yeah, I think the community is right behind this side, Crystal. You've got a lot of support in the community and uh, great to see a good crowd here today. It's, you know, it's wonderful to see uh, our, our local game still popular with our, with our whanau and all our supporters coming out on a lovely day to watch their teams. Yeah, so I don't really know what's happened to the uh, to the the time here. It's it's according to our clocks, it's well over time now. But there must have been some stoppages that we didn't record uh, on screen. But yeah, we seem to be a few minutes over time here. Yeah. But Manu will be happy. Yeah. He's chewing up a few minutes more, a few more minutes of a sin bin. Get a few more minutes in the second oh. half. Oh, oh, James Dowie gets the pickup too. There. All time there with a missed opportunity with that un awkward bounce. It's been safe for the back out uh, for them for Papakura, James Dowie. Yeah, and Jody Henry going down that right edge. Finds uh, Sosomia. Look at this. Try time. Oh, wow, what a try. You got to play to the whistle, Crystal. You sure do. Beautiful yes. try there by Sosimia. Yeah, it's second for the day. Had a lot of work to do too. All done himself. Yeah. But an individual brilliance with that kick. Regather. And smart enough to get some uh, get nice and close to the post so they easier for the conversion. Yeah, James Dowie there will be thankful he brought it around there and proved that angle. Made that kick a lot easier. That, that was the half-time hooter as well, Crystal. So, yeah, all will be really upset with themselves there, leading in that uh, last try there. But credit to Papakura there and Jody Henry in particular, seeing that opportunity down that right edge. Yeah, if there and was, was anywhere a, they were going to score, it was going to be down that side with Manu missing. Yeah, and you mentioned that earlier as well, that that, that, that was the best opportunity for, for Papakura. They needed to exploit that uh, weakness there, that missing man. And uh, Jody Henry there experienced enough to spot that opportunity and take advantage. James Dowie now. Uh, conversion from a very handy angle here. Yeah. Two tries in the last five minutes there, Crystal. 16 20 at half time. Fantastic, fantastic work from both sides there. Exciting game. We'll be back very shortly with the second half. Mark <laughs>
This is ARL. This is Wednesday Night League, where battles are fought, greatness has grown, and legends are made. Be there live at Mount Smart number two and catch the action on Sky Sport and our YouTube channel every Wednesday as the ARL's top talent chase glory in back-to-back doubleheaders. Kicks off 6 p.m. May 1st, live on Sky Sport and the ARL YouTube channel. My hockey, my welcome back to Prince Edward Park here in Papakura, Tamaki Makoto. I'm Rusty Matu and commentary alongside Crystal Rota today. The epic first half there, Crystal, between the Otara Scorpions and Papakura Sea Eagles. Oh, it's been a very physical game, very um, dominant through the middle third of the park. Um, it's been very exciting to watch. I'm really excited to see the second half. Yeah, excellent. We've got some try lights coming up shortly now, and uh, no doubt both coaches are giving the, giving the boys their instructions, and uh, discipline will be one of the big things they'll be talking about, Crystal. Oh, definitely. This first try here. Foot, beautiful ball movement from Otara. Then this brilliant little kick through. Still a bit of work. Get a good pace there on that edge. And Perez in for his first try of the game. But you've got to give props. This was a beautifully weighted kick there off the right outside of the boot. Good pace there by Perez. Regather and beautiful put down in that left-hand corner. Yeah, great opening first try. But uh, Papakura answered back straight away. With their reply, this lovely move down the right edge. The double jack with the heads and tails. And James Dow with the draw pass. Setting up Sosomia with his first opening try for the deb- for his debut too, Crystal. Yeah, you've got to love getting a meat pie on your debut. Good effort there by Jody Henry too, really taking the ball into the line. Beautiful tries too. Just credit to the middles. These tries are being scored on the edges as we've seen. You know, yes. both edges here. Another one here, big, the big man Manu Vatuvai. Bringing a lot of confidence to his team. Just bowling straight through the, the defensive line there of Papakura. Nice little corners there. Barely was even touched there. And look at that powerful legs. Beautiful dive there for Manu Vatubai to get a yeah. try in there. And then the next try there, Crystal, there. Everybody thought Manu was getting the ball. And it was a beautiful cutout pass. And it was again the fullback for Altara there, George Ngatapu. Ngatapu. Beautiful skip past them, skipping Manu Vatuvo out to an unmarked Perez to score his second try of the day. Oh, he'll be happy with getting two tries, two Absolutely. tries for the game there. But it wasn't looking like much was on. He was a pretty dominant tackle. Nice little play the ball here. Dart out from Soosemia. Beautiful try there for him. It's been dominant for Papakura in this game. Good eyes up footy from him from the centre. Seen yep. some space there. Took the opportunity and dived over Sosemia for his try there for Papakura. Yeah, and then we're looking at Otara again here. This beautiful little short ball off the dummy half here for the unders line. Simo, beautiful run there in the unders line there. And just that little little swivel at the, at the, at the contact. Turning his shoulder towards the try line. Uh, simple play, Crystal. Oh, very simple play. Good eyes up footy from the dummy half too, who I think has been brilliant. This one here though, Sosemia again. Beautiful little kick for himself, regather. Regathers the ball, takes it nice and close uh, to the goalpost to make an easier conversion for James Dowie, which yeah. brought Papakura nice and close um, in score, heading yeah, and, into uh, the second half. Sosemia there, um, although he's playing centre today, showing why he was playing, made the Fox Wing of the Year last year. Just some silky skills on that right edge today. Oh yeah, he's, he's been brilliant for Papakura. And no doubt he's got more to give. It's actually um, good that he's up against Manu. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a good matchup on that edge. No, oh, it's certainly a challenge for a young man, you know, coming coming through the greats. And then seeing someone up up against one of the icons of uh, rugby league. So, yeah, a big challenge for the young man today. And, uh, yeah, two tries for him today. So he's, he's one up on Manu at the moment. Oh, he is. And it can go one of two ways, you know. You can, can put you into your shower. You're so nervous playing against an icon like Manu. Yeah. Or it can be, you know, you take a that motivation. opportunity and yeah. motivation and, and be like, oh, you know, I'm going to give it my best to play against the best. So, no, it's awesome to see. And, uh, just acknowledging our sponsors on screen once again. No. Uh, Fantastic work from our staff here and our, and our production team with Eddie and the team from Streamshop.live doing a great job bringing you these wonderful images today. Celebrating the ARL's uh, 2024 season, kicking off with this uh, 
Fox qualifier today. Beaming out live from Prince Edward Park in Papakura, Tamaki Makoto. Otara to restart the second half there. Definitely game on there, just a four point margin, just a try in it. Uh, Otara here with a probably another five or six minutes for Manu in the bin there, Crystal. Yeah, his team will be um, awaiting his return. You know, so um, if you're the Papakura coach, you know, well, what would have been your instructions at half time? Oh, definitely discipline. Sorting out the the penalty the penalties were were too many far too many in the first half. So sorting out those because they were just allowing um, Otara to march up the field and you know and and they resulted in tries. So definitely eliminating eliminating those penalties. Yeah, I think and uh, also you also mentioned too to attack that uh, right edge of Otara's as well with Manu being out still out at, at this time. Oh, another good run, man! Like he's been fantastic. Uh, Josh Tafili, he's been awesome for um, uh, Papakura on that left edge. That beautiful tackle bust and offload there. So a steamrolling start from the Papakura Seagulls in the second half here, Crystal. Yeah, they've obviously had a talk into, taken it on board, come out firing. It's still on for Papakura here. Knocked back by Otara and picked up Otara to play on. So uh, good work from Otara diffusing that opportunity down that right edge there. Yes, yeah, Samal with a weaving run there, fending off those going out to the edge. Oh, that's uh, uh, Fika Langa, my, my bad. Oh, and there's another good run there from the bench player there. Siitia. Excellent yards. Williams with the big kick downfield there, but it's going straight to the winger. It's uh, Aquila Tuha. Managed to evade the... First two tacklers to make a couple more uh, meters up towards halfway. Generating some good ruck speed here, Papakura. Yeah, off the back of uh, Josh Tafili again. He's been so good for Papakura today. Big runners are getting good, good quick play the ball. We saw Semir again. You don't want to give him any space, Crystal. No, definitely not with what he's already produced so far in the game already. Yep. Ooh, good defensive effort from the Scorpions there. Five, five in final. Looking for a good kick here, Crystal. No. Looking for a try. And just try what time. the... Yeah, Junior Peter there for the Papakura Seagulls. And, uh, yeah, so... Good to go against the green there because the expectation or the usual thing would have been to set up for a kick there. But they went for that uh, that, that simple one off the ruck there and saw the opportunity close to the ruck. Usually what you're waiting for, you can see Jody saying, get a blocker through, get a blocker through. Yeah. Dummy half there, good, beautiful pass. Oh, yeah. Straight into space, nice and close to the post. Always hard to defend when you've got someone inside and outside the post. Yeah. And Junior Peter too is also nice and low when he went over the he line. Was. So... Otara really had no chance of stopping there, Crystal. You yeah, know? Unless, you're, unless you're anchored and you're low to the ground, it's always hard to get under someone who's um, already diving, yeah. especially bigger bodies when, you know, it's hard to get up and under and hold that weight up to, to hold the ball up. So brilliant so, try there from Papakura. Yeah, 20 apiece now with a very um, lovely angle for the conversion attempt here from James Dowie. So Papakura looking to take the lead for the first time in the match, Crystal. Yeah, wonder what the message was from um, Coach Seal for them to come out the way that they have uh, to start the, the second half the way that they have. Well, they certainly came out with a lot more energy, a lot more bounce in their play, a lot more legs, leg drive, leg speed. So, yeah. yeah you can see Excellent. the urgency, yep. uh, the quick play the ball, the momentum that they generated through that set. Yeah, much better. And obviously got the results then. And first time in the game, they've taken the lead now, 22-20. Otara. Still got a couple of minutes, a minute or two for, uh, before they bring Manu Vatuvai back. 
Uh, see Safa along with the uh, sister to his brother Dave there. No doubt just having a, a, a little bit of a word to the boys there about their expectations. And, uh, and uh, showing his experience there because he's still on the field. There he is. I was, I was, I'm just surprised he's not telling the tea boy to go off and he'll be to do the tea. <laughs> oh, here comes Manu. Manu's back on now. Sinbin's up. You still see Fa, um, Fa'alonga just, just reminding that right edge about their duties and responsibilities. <laughs> it's that man again, Peter. Junior Peter with a nice carry. Yeah, nice work there. It's too hot. Oh, my bad. Uh, Tatupu. Tatupu's been solid for Papakura on that left edge again. Look at this. Oh, he's just having a great game. Josh Tafili again. Oh, he's been massive for Papakura on that left edge today. Oh, Papakura. They've come back with a vengeance here. What a way to start the second half, Crystal. It is indeed. Oh, but Josh Tafili again. Just breaking the line, carrying it for another 20 metres. Quick play the ball. Uh, he's been instrumental in, the, in those last two goal. passages of play as well, yeah. And the space here. Still gets up, quick play the ball, doesn't muck around. Look at the pace of the man, though. Oh, yeah, he's been Looks amazing. Looks for the offload, but he... Took the smart option, which was to just go down, get a quick play the ball. Good ball movement here too. Nice tip on. Nice and flat. Yep. Speed to burn. Beautiful try yeah. there for Papakura. So Joseph Papa Price. Kura, and, you know, it's so so influential on the game, those tries just before half time, those tries just after half time. And 80 to 90% of the matches, they go on to win as well. So Papakura have certainly given themselves every chance for the win now. Oh, they definitely are. Definitely was a motivational uh, talk at half time, so it's given them a lot of urgency to come out and and turn the tides. James Dowie again with a nice uh, angle on this kick here. This should give Papakura a eight point lead, you would imagine. 28 20. There it is. He duly obliges and. Uh, Papakura out to an eight-point need now. Yeah, so Otara need to try and get the next try if they can. Uh, you, you'd imagine, Crystal, that uh, Papakura gets the next try. You can sort of count yeah. on them to take the game away. But there's still plenty of time left. They've sort of changed up, uh, you know, from what they were doing in the first half. They were sort of just dominantly going through that middle third and just... Still staying close to the ruck, and it was easy very to safe too. footy, and yep. now that they're getting a bit expansive and getting a bit wider, it's obviously been, a, been beneficial for them. Yeah, it's working for them getting out to those edges, exactly. And gosh, um, Josh tafili has been fantastic for them down that left edge, hasn't he? He's so strong. And look at that, uh, uh, Jeff tatupi has been good for them as well. It's just nothing crazy or fancy it's just real simple but it's consistent he's been very strong for them on that left edge with his uh, carries yeah all tatters knock on okay oh, Papa could have been wrapped with that call I actually initially initially thought that would, uh, yeah Papa could have knocked it on but all tada, yeah backing down the scrum now Papa could have feed So Papakura now storming down the middle, but uh, good defensive effort by those three tacklers there. Those two finishing it off nicely with a nice stack. Yeah, Pap Papakura have certainly come out with a bit more spring in their step in the second half, Crystal. Yeah, they definitely have. And Peter's been good since he's got on as well, the 15, the replacement. Yeah, you've got to have the bench that player. impact players that come on and 
That's have an impact. Yeah, yeah, have an impact, exactly. And he's done exactly that. Yeah. And outside oh, of just uh, falling off a couple of those tackles there. Jody Henry with a nice bomb down to the corner. What a take. What do you think, double movement, or is that a momentum that got him over? Yeah, referee thinks it's okay. Yep. Beautiful take. It was. This lovely kick from J.D. Henry there. No. Nope. No, referee no, saying that's uh, beautiful contest there. Came in short. It's a tricky one, eh? It looked yeah. like it was grounded early, but it did look like it was momentum. But yeah, ref, uh, yeah, Touchy thought it was short. Yeah, ref's so called it. Six so. and a hand over. Yeah, so um, yeah, no, no doubt, all Tata Scorpions are very thankful for the opportunity. I'm not conceding another try. That that could have been the. The match winner there, just quietly. It's a good collision there from Salo or Manimatevai. Yeah, Perez with a little run. So Papakura, 28-20 now. Good lead. See a good run there from... Uh, Fitalainga. James Dowie's under that ball. Oh, oh, and he drops it, Crystal. Very uncharacteristic it mistake is. from uh, JD there. He's been very safe for them at the back. Just that style of the kick to that ugly spiral. Yeah, the spiral bomb. Yeah. The way it moves, it moves away from you just as a bit of an arc in, the, in that kick as it comes down and it just goes away from you at the end. So, yep, James Dowie unlucky there. Caught out by that, by that spiral. This young uh, Miracle Williams there, the half for uh, Otara, putting that kick up. Similar to Jody. Jody's kick was be before that for that try was fantastic as well. It actually worked in their favour because it curved back to the Papakura player. It did. Yeah. Away from the Ōtara defender, but here we go now with Ōtara in good ball now, Crystal. Heading towards Manu so again. Oh, oh. And Manu's dropped it. And he looks like he's injured himself too. It's a good read there by Jody Henry. Yeah. Yeah, oh. just coming, coming from the outside. Shot from the outside, Jody Henry. Yeah, Good Papa, defensive read. Yeah, Papakura there. Saw that one coming. Got up in his face and forced the error. So well done, Papakura there. Yeah. <sighs> Diffusing that opportunity for Tara now. So Papakura with the feed now. And uh, Jody just having a word to the referee. Okay, Papa could have feed yet. Step man again, Josh Tafili. Stedman Lafoe there with a nice run off the ruck, bringing it up over the over the thirty now. He towards the forty meter line. Great yardage from the Kura forwards here. Good work. Nice little play down the right edge here. James Dowie getting involved on that right edge this time. And Sulla, one of the bench players, the change players coming on and having an impact on the game now. Here's the kick from JD there, trying to get some yardage down there, but a nice take by uh, Ngatapu. Oh, 
and that's a good run there from uh, Telemark. We'll try to get in their bench players involved now. Just what they needed to get a bit of uh, energy into their game, Crystal into their forward pack in particular, just uh, pick up the momentum and the uh, and the pace. Yeah, and it all stems from you know the quick play of the ball and and getting out from dummy half quickly, bringing the the forwards onto the ball to, to generate that momentum, and and that's what Papakura have done in the second half, and it seems that that's sort of been a, a, a takeaway from Otara and what they were doing in the first half. Yeah, and uh, Pierce Tanaki there. Good, good run up the middle. That's a bit of a wobbly kick there, that one. Oh, and it's eluded to JD. Oh, and that's a hand oh, over there. Hand so, over. gosh, very lucky. bit of luck there that uh, he wasn't able to offload that ball there. Well, Tyler just needed a couple more chases pushing up there because... Just slipping over. Yeah. Yeah, just uh, Lowaki there. He should have uh, had a look for uh, his, uh, his his uh, support play there. I think he already has eyes on the try line there, Crystal. Yeah, as you do sometimes in the yep. heat of the moment. <laughs> and Josh Tafili again there. She's been big for them today. Another carry for him. He's a centre doing prop, prop work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's young, young Aquila Tuha again, another settle. He's been busy today for the Papakura Seagulls. And the offload there. Malu gets another Ooh. offload. Oh, there's one after the another there, but... Uh, yeah, Papakura's knock on first there. Knock on both ways there. Yeah, a think dangerous I, tackle. He got away with that one, didn't he? Yeah, leg lift drivers shove him into the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, the referee doesn't have the benefit of a replay like we do. Yeah. So he's uh, fourteen. Or a is, yeah, or fourteen. A yeah, to yeah. Go to. yeah. Trouble. So fourteen is very really lucky to get away with that one. He, he, he could have been uh, jumping on Manu's seat over there. But Otara, Otara here yeah, with uh, just over twenty-two minutes to go in the game now. And, uh, they're behind by eight points, and they've got possession now just inside the Papakura half. And Perez at the ball out here on the left wing. And uh, Papakura shut that down. It's uh, Batuvai. Otara now with some good momentum, some good yardage. Coming down the middle of the field. Good defensive work from Papakura here. It's Sala with a nice tackle. Nice strong carry for Otara here. He's over the line. No. Oh, lost it there. And oh, there's penalty. a penalty there. So Otara here, gifted uh, gifted position here, Crystal. Yeah, look like he's going for a, a strip in that instance. Yeah. Joseph Price, but... Again, from our angle, that looked like a loose carry, but... Yeah. But the referee uh, is giving the penalty to Otara. So Otara take the tap here. It's uh, Forte Anthony there looking for a quick tap and go. The old pay wave there, Crystal. The tap and go. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Going out to the right edge now. It's a nice ball. Oh, Ngatupu there. Ngatupu looking for an opportunity down that right edge. A good defense from the Papakura Seagulls holding them out. James Dowie with that tackle. Inside ball there. Well defended again. Papakura up to the task. Good defense. Yeah, bodies on the line there. It's fifth and final for Otara here. Oh! 
Play on. No. Referee's called that a knock on, yeah. Hand great, over. Great defense from Papakura there, Crystal. Oh, beautiful goal line defense. You can see the urgency in their and their body language when they're when they're getting off the line. Getting nice and low there. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't give him any opportunity to kick that ball. Yeah. It's a great goal line defense from Papakura. Yeah, Tovia. Tovia didn't even see him coming. So excellent work from the Papakura try line defense there. That was uh, Tyrell uh, Sulla with that great tackle on uh, Tovia there, shutting down that plate. Oh, and there's a penalty. Offside. Yeah, so all are not doing themselves any favour at the moment, Crystal. No, they'll be already under a lot of fatigue, and now they're going to have to back up with a, another set of defence, and getting down it's a good ball for Papakura as well, so they're going to have to really work hard for each other um, on defence in this next set. Yeah, just a bit of fatigue showing there, Crystal, no doubt. You can see those boys didn't even look at the referee. Oh, exactly, and that's that's where, you know, sometimes di discipline la lapses when you're, when you're tired and under fatigue and you don't... You sort of can't get back on side or... Yeah. Yeah, so Jacob Polo onto the field now off the beach. Uh, interchange player for Papakura now with his first carry up the field there. Uh, Lupo. Back to the left edge. It's uh, Tuivai Lupa there with a nice run. Yeah. And Papakura, Papakura are starting to dominate the game now, Crystal. Yeah. It's just pure power here. Yeah. Sparrows his head through there. Was it? Didn't even look like he was going into space. He just put his head first and dove over there. I was just trying to see his number. Was that That's Jacob? Malu. Yes, Malu. Malu. Number 20. The interchange player, yeah. Lovely coming off the bench and scoring a try there. And, uh, that's, that's, uh, that's really increasing that uh, margin out now. A great psychological boost for uh, Papakura. And, uh, putting them now beyond that two-try mark, Crystal. Yeah, Papakura have really worked hard the second half to, to bring themselves, obviously, to lead the game. And then... Um, get further and further ahead with that lead. Oh yeah well just since half time you know you've got to give credit to Papakura they've dominated the second half so far they've not allowed uh, Papakura to play haven't let them cross their trial line you can see a lot more uh, steadfast uh, re resolve on their defence you know they're putting a lot more effort in and, and a lot more physical in their tackles. Yeah it's urgency on both attacking and defensive efforts. Absolutely and uh JD, uh, James Dowie just uh, duly obliges with a lovely conversion there. Papakura out to a 34-20 lead, uh, lead now, 14-point lead. So uh, Scorpions now with a huge challenge in front of them. They need three tries to get in front, get back on the board now. So uh, well done to Papakura with uh, what they've done so far in the second half, Crystal. Yeah, they've, they've Excellent been very effort. dominant, very dominant. Yeah, and uh, Manu's untied his hair now. <laughs> he's, ready, he's ready to unleash. He's ready to unleash now, Crystal. Get the flying locks down the left edge. Yep. So Papakura here. Oh, and it bounces back. Ooh, bit of a friendly fire there. Joseph Price, but he's a tough, he's a tough boy. Penalty there. Oh, yeah. Oh, Altara, Altara just not helping themselves at all now. Seems like the penalty counters uh, switch sides now. Yep. Yeah, playing very smart now. So Papakura will just slow it down here. <laughs> James Dowie there with his uh, sore leg and he still finds touch on the opposite side of the field so 
And then uh, Tyrell Sulla again. He's been good since he's come off the bench in the second half. He's, had, he's made some real good inroads and had a real big impact for Papakura. Hello. And Papakura easily up over the 40 now. You can just really feel momentum. A big shift in the second half. Crystal, you know, and, uh, they're just looking so dominant now, Papakura. Yeah, as you, as, you, as you know, as a coach, you know, once that momentum shifts and you get a roll on, yeah, it's hard to stop. It's hard to stop. Yeah, Josh Tafili there. Just put down, short of the line, but uh, gosh, he deserves to try with all his efforts today, Crystal. He's been sure fantastic does. for Papakura. But all of there, cleaned up their ball on the try line. And yeah, it's brought out there by Tusa. Yeah, uh, Tapu getting up towards the 20 now. Manu plays the ball. A little chip over the top there. Uh, Tapu there, but uh, appealing for interference. Yeah, appealing for interference. Oh, it looks like he's abused the referee there. Time is off. Mm -hmm. the referee now. Talk with uh, Miracle Williams. He's obviously said something to the referee that he uh, shouldn't have said there, Crystal. Yeah. Ref doesn't look happy at all. Right. Oh, yeah. He's definitely on a last Stern warning, words. isn't he? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, no, they are, oh, no we, without the referees, we don't have a game. Crystal, you know, they, they, they deserve to be abused. Oh, definitely not. No, verbal abuse, and uh, no, it's, there's no place for that in our game. Over the years, all, all the years I've been playing, I've always made an effort to, to try not give any, any refs grief because, you know, I know they do, you know, the service yeah. they do for our game is so important. Absolutely. And there's Sulla again for Papakura with a nice carry up over the 20. Uh, Cruz Tupo there with a bit of footwork. Looking at that right edge. And again down the right edge here. Oh. And that was uh, Malu again. Looking for his second try of the day. And then thought better of it to try to get an offload. Altara comes up with position there. That little run for Perez. Starting to see a few limp and body Oh, what are we looking at here? Yeah, Otara penalty. Yeah, yeah, Mark's too quick there, not straight. Interfering and uh, dummy up there, moving too quick. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that, that just hit our commentary box. Yeah. <laughs> So the up will do it. They are halfway now. <laughs> Otara with the quick tap. Yeah, Sita with the carry. Yes, yeah, a pretty average place for Motara there. They need to do something better than that if they're going to get it a try. Yeah, it's a, that's a better run. And the offload. Footwork there, so oh, oh, unforced error. Really, there wasn't, yeah, there wasn't really interfered with by Papakura. So, Otara there losing possession. Papakura up to the 40 for their first play. S 
Tyrell Salah again with another strong carry for him for Papakura. I bet that was Stedman Lafote. I was looking at his bit uh, instead of his number. Anyway, here they go. Oh, great work. Malu again. But he yeah, just loses a four D on that uh, attempt at an offload. And seeing some good second phase play here with a few offloads happening now. Everyone's getting a bit tired and, you know, the defense uh, tackle tech starts to slip a little bit, not locking that ball. So just over 10 minutes left in the game now. Papakura with a 14-point lead. Cramp starting to set in now. Yeah, Perez with a great run there from the tap there and a nice 20-meter gain with that carry. He's trying to drag the penalty too. Otaro looking a bit better with these carries now. But, uh, yeah, it looks like the time's going to run out for them, unfortunately. And a nice run from Miracle Williams there. Finding his second rower in Solomon up. Looking at that left edge. And Ngatapu again with that chip over the top. What a lovely take there from Akula Tuha. Excellent cover tech, uh, cover um, uh, kick reception by the winger there. Lovely work. So Papakura. Just over eight minutes left on the clock now, and there's that man, Josh Tafili. Once again, carrying the ball down that left edge for Papakura. Uh, Lupo. Yeah, you've got to give credit to their forwards. They're doing a great job in the second half, especially Crystal. Oh, they've created such good momentum for the backs to play off the back of. And, you know, in the beginning of the game, they were sort of just doing one off, but it's a lot more support run now getting good quick play of the balls and it's really changed the whole tempo and speed of the game um, for Papakura. Yeah and it's certainly uh, uh, just uh, lifted that tempo in that second half especially and uh, it's been one way traffic for them in that second half and they've just been amazing. So credit to them and their work rate and they're no doubt making their coach very happy with that second half performance today. So Otara now up to the halfway. Now, so Papakura's just, oh, let them through that middle there. It's a Fete Lainga there with a great run down the middle of the field after that line break. Now Miracle Williams coming down the left edge here looking for his support runners. And taken in by Seita. Fifth and final for Otara here. Oh, and penalty. a penalty here, offside over the line, Crystal. Yeah. Oh. It's not a great spot to get a penalty. You know, obviously, it's, you know, they've got a 14-point lead, but that's frustrating, you know, when all you have to do is put one foot on the line and you'll be okay. You know, yeah, and, and, and yeah. To be done for offside when you're only a, a, a metre off the try line there, that's... It's really no excuses. No, you exactly. Get that, exactly. That foot back, one foot over the line. Yeah. So, Otara now... There's a full set from the 10 meter line and they go up to within a meter on their first carry. Yeah, Otara needs more than that than one off the ruck. They need to be a bit more enterprising and use their skills a bit more. 
look for combinations. Oh, excellent defeats again from Papakura. We've got to be happy with that. Very dominant in the second half on defense Absolutely. as well. Yeah. Showing up for each other time and time again. Goal, great goal line defense. I got credit where credit's due, and it's just saying why they, you know, they got to within two points, you know, in that last game in the semi final of making the grand final last year, you know. So, you know, well done to uh, Papakura. And again, we saw the effects of that that last try before halftime and that first try after halftime. Definitely. You know, in 90% of league games, that team goes on to win the match. So, well done to Papakura, you know, and they've uh, really showed their, uh, their experience, their dominance, and uh, why they were in the Fox last year. Yeah, they're just obviously in the beginning of the game still trying to find their feet. Uh, yep. Once they found their found their feet and got a bit of momentum happening, you know they've been away running. But obviously a lot of good stuff in the first half for, for Otara as well, you know, and they got a lot of they've got a lot of good stuff to take away from this game as well. Oh, they can take forward. A lot of a lot of great things from Otara as well, which I know Dave, uh, the great coach he is, will um, have plenty of takeaways from today's game uh, yeah, as they head yeah. into their second game in the qualifiers. Yeah. It's too often as leagueies, Crystal, we, we, we focus on the negative things we did, you know, and rather than the positive. So we need to celebrate that and acknowledge that as well. I don't know too much about that because you've been my coach most of my <laughs> life. <laughs> and you're always a positive man, so I'm very yeah. fortunate to be on the good side of things. Ah, kia ora, Cass. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, Papa could have uh, done an amazing job, especially the second half. Been a fantastic performance in the second half. James Dow with a huge downfield kick there. Massive kick. and that'll be, oh, Look at that. Perfect. And all trying to just get great. back into the field of play. What a great kick. So like an 80-meter kick there from James Dowie. Good and look defense. at that. All lucky. Lucky to just stay in the field of play there. Excellent defensive effort from Papakura. Oh. Yeah, just a lazy arm there. Pulled his headgears off too. Tyrell Salah there, unlucky. Uh, natural reaction though when someone steps back on your inside to put your hand up though, so reach no out. malice. Yeah, no malice, just a reflex action more than anything. But yeah, uh, Papa Kuda, a dominant second half performance today and uh, just over three minutes left on the clock here. Otara, they can take a lot from that first half, but that second half performance, they've really let themselves down a little bit there, but they can take away from the good stuff in their first half. As they fail to find touch there. And Papakura capitalized on that mistake. And Henry Pay goes across. Gets himself a meat pie there, Crystal. We missed that. We've got a replay of that. All we no. could hear was the crowd going going wild. Yeah. So the touch finder there was unable to find touch. It found the second rower in the shape of Henry Pay on that right edge. He steps inside the winger and scores himself a meat party. Round off a wonderful Saturday afternoon at Prince Edward Park. 38-20. Yeah, and there's still time there for Papa Kuda to get another another set. Now James Dowie there just hydrating as he makes his way across the, all the way to the right-hand touchline. Chewing up a few seconds at a time. Showing his experience. Having a breather. Yeah. yeah. Some of your football IQ you pick up over the years there. <laughs> yeah. No hurry. No hurry there. How you doing, ref? <laughs> yeah, referee there is just checking his time. Yeah, James Dowie, great to see him. He had a year off last year. Yeah, let him uh, let his body heal up a bit. No, but that uh, that right leg of his is heavily strapped again. So, but uh, wonderful to see him back playing footy again. No, I had the pleasure of coaching James in the Auckland team as well. So he's a he's a real classy actor, as uh, young James Dowie. Yeah, their manager did mention to me, Savannah. She said that uh, James Dowie returned to home club in honour of his father. So yep. something something special there. Ah, oh, brilliant. Played a couple of years at, uh, at Odahu. Yeah, I remember him over there with Richie Blackmore. 
Shit. My bad. You have a spare change of clothes, Tony? So Otara with the restart. Unable to, to cross the line in the second half there. Crystal just held up an excellent uh, defensive effort from Papakura in that second half. Yeah, they really worked hard on defense, uh, Papakura. Just shows when you have a shift of energy what you're, what you're actually capable of. Yep. Yeah, we love uh, Pulu there, a great run. Stedman Lafote, the third carry for Papakura, getting up towards the 40 meter mark. And uh, Papakura there, not in any hurry. Cruz Tupo just drops it on the inside for Salah. So it's not the underdog state today, Crystal. Congratulations to Papakura and uh, Cecil Setefano and the boys. Uh, wonderful effort and, and yourself for tipping them. <laughs> so well done to Papakura Sea Eagles and uh, congratulations to them and uh, qualifying these games is so important. Commiserations to the Otala Scorpions and Dave Falongo and Salah and the boys. But they do have next week to get back and try and make a, find redemption. I'm Rusty Matu, a commentary alongside Crystal Rota today. It's been wonderful having you guys here viewing and watching this 2024 Fox Memorial qualifier between Papakura Seagulls and Otala Scorpions. We'll be back to wrap up the match very shortly. Matewa.